London Up your speed Derby, Leicester Up your speed Essex, Leeds Up your speed Liverpool, Ipswich Up your speed Wolverhampton Up your speed Newcastle, Sheffield Up your speed Ipswich, let's go! <sighs> Yo, you know what it is. Right, Q&A time. I've got some questions here, which now we're going to get into. So I sort of, I just screenshot the messages. I, uh, I only had a quick look at the questions. So I've not actually had time to sort of think about the answers. So these answers are going to be raw and real let's get it so let's start with let's just go bosh right official dot connor 67 where's the camera that way <clears throat> says how long did it take for you to learn how to wheelie um <clears throat> Well, to be fair, I can only now properly wheelie. Uh, the initial sort of like pulling the bike up and sort of keeping it going, I sort of got in about three months, but I've only just recently learned brake control and getting a new bike completely sort of threw me because my old bike was pretty much running metal on metal, no brakes. Um, and then obviously I got the C100 Pro, full brakes, sick breaks um but yeah so all in all if you add it all up it probably took me a year probably just over a year sweet right next let's go to bosh adam hardy next trick to learn on the bike doesn't have to be weedy to learn yeah as you guys know the ones who ride with me i'd like to learn like they're just like carving across the road so sort of just like big long loose swerves i just think that looks it looks cool it looks casual it looks chill it looks fresh yes adam suffolk surf crew you know what it is right who should we go to next one wheel dot l1 Whoa, that drop. Whoop, whoop. One wheel dot L1. Are you still doing ride outs? If do, what time? Sure. Um, yeah, I stopped doing the big ride outs for a bit because it seemed I was arranging them and then as soon as we go out, everyone gets, was getting like peed off, wanting to do their own things, not wanting to go where we wanted to go um sort of causing trouble and yeah it was just it was just getting too hectic people just doing their own thing so i was like cool you guys go do what you want to do i'll carry on doing what i want to do with the ones who actually sort of want to listen so yeah next we'll go to abby louise says what is your dream job Oh, oh, big question. Um, anything to do with like proper cars, like Top Gear, like that would be sick. Just like lashing about in supercars with your mates and getting paid for it would be a pretty good get up. Um, I know, but realistically, I guess something to do with like video editing and like videos, maybe music videos, just. Yeah, I'm really getting into like the whole vlogging and the creative side of stuff. So yeah, maybe something to do with that. My guy, it's Jordan Vlogs, says, what's the best ride out you've been on? Ooh, big question. The best, see it's hard to define the best because I've got different ride outs that mean different things to me for different reasons. Um, but the best 
would probably be RJ's ride out, birthday ride out, Litty in the city. That was that was a madness. That was a big one. Um, yes, yeah, so when we done like South Bank to Wembley, like everyone was there, just good vibes. Just that was probably the best one. Um, but the one, like obviously the ride that means the most to me is the one when I got Ryan Taylor and little Harry to come down to Ipswich. Um, he done a whole vlog on it called How It Changed His Life. Um, that obviously meant more to me personally because obviously as you know if you know the story what I went through and then becoming inspired by Ryan and then becoming friends with him and then to get him to come to my hometown and ride around yeah that was pretty good it's Jordan Vlogs go subscribe you know what it is right Michelle says what is your favourite tattoo and the meaning behind it? Ooh. 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 Uh, jeez. That's a big question. Um, probably, I've got Forever Grateful written across my chest because whatever i go through um i've had some people that have like stayed with me supported me through it no matter what even through my wrongdoings they've still supported me so forever grateful for them um forever grateful for my mom for my sister my brother cass um yeah so that's on my chest so forever grateful um, yeah, it's probably the most meaningful, but they've all got their own meanings. Like, I'm not one of them that just go out and get random Chinese writing on me, you know, like these people do, and that says, like, sweet and sour chicken balls or whatever. So, yeah, all my tattoos have got meaning, but probably the forever grateful on my chest is probably the most meaningful. Sure, wait. Right. <clears throat> Who should we go to? Oh, Shane underscore Murphy nine. My G, what inspired you to start biking? Um, if you go to my videos and watch a video called um, A Bit About Bow Vlogs. Oh, it's getting windy. Yeah, A Bit About Bow Vlogs. I talk about why I got into it. And it was um, basically I went through a depression. Um, basically become a bed hermit. Whoa, bed hermit wasn't like getting out of bed or anything. And then um, just watching random stuff on YouTube. And that's when I came across Ryan Taylor, um, started watching his videos. And like he said, um, whenever he's depressed, he just starts riding. So literally with that, went on a website, brought a BMX from Collective Bikes and yeah, I went until I started riding that I realized that there's a whole new world, like a whole new scene out there, like a bike life scene. It's just like, wow, it's crazy. So yeah, and then it's just spiraled and progressed from there. Big up Shane, big up. Got my other Shane. Shane D, 1985 UK, can't see that. Favourite American footballer. Also, you got to play for Ipswich Cardinals next season. <laughs> um, I've sort of fell off uh, NFL American football like the last few years. Um, but yeah, I'm one of them. Like I'll just watch it for watching it. Like I've not got a favourite team. Um, favourite player at the minute, obviously... Odell Beckham Jr., come on. <laughs> but yeah, that's just... I've always liked them sort of players that have got that sort of the charisma and like the I don't give a fuck sort of attitude. Like that's... And can play as well and hit the wall and all that. So yeah, Odell Beckham Jr. And play for Ipswich Cardinals next season. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Big up Shane. Right, next. <laughs> Cloud Bash Rios, aka Seb, my guy. 
when are you putting that hot Latin guy back in your vids again? <laughs> Hold on. I don't think Ricky Martin was in any of my videos, but I'll have a look back on that and I'll let you know, G. <laughs> right, here should we go to next. <laughs> CJ100, my guy. If you're not following him already, go follow him. What motivates you? Big boy question. Um... What motivates me? My past. Um, the hate, haters, the doubters. Um, yeah, everyone who tries to like hold me down, pull me down, bring up old shit because they think that will stop me from reaching where I want to get to. Um, and seeing the positive effect and impact that what I do has on the younger generations, the one that the, the ones that actually want to listen. Um, yeah, the more I see them doing well and sort of like changing their attitude and their behaviours and stuff, that motivates me to keep doing what I'm doing, yeah? Big up CJ100. Oh, Sean. Sean, my guy, Sean says... Would you agree that owning a dog helps with mental health? 150 million percent. Um, when I first went through what I went through, uh, I didn't see Cass for the first two months and that was hard. That was like proper hard. Obviously, I've got his tattoo on my hand, so just like looking at that every day, but not knowing that I'm not seeing him. Didn't think I was gonna have him back at one point. And yeah, as soon as he came back, it was just amazing. So between like Cassius, my mum, and Ryan Taylor and Bike Life, that's pretty much why I'm still here. So yeah, so dogs definitely do help with mental health, but you have to be mentally in the state to be able to look after it properly. 100%. <laughs> Cloud Bash, real Seb again, Seb's back. Where do you see yourself in the next two to three with bike life, etc.? Um, collective bikes <laughs> that would be cool but yeah I don't know just have my own my own sort of like franchise of some sort maybe not going in competition with collective bikes and these other brands just just have like my own movement my own movement in bike life and then as you know, maybe start breaking away from that with like merch and yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. Who should we go to? Eman underscore vibe. The camera's getting dodgy, yo. How was your day at Bike Storm, bro? I hope you enjoyed it because it was it. How was your day at Bike Storm? Bike Storms was mix and match. It was, it went from awesome to dramas to fighting to people getting knocked off their bikes to people getting knocked over in the road back to awesome. It was, but all in all, it was a good day. Um, yeah, like I said, besides the dramas and that, it was just a good vibe. Uh, love riding the city in the evenings. And E-Man, we need to hook up again soon and ride that shiz properly, yo. Come on. Go follow my G, E-Man underscore vibe. Get at it. Nikki says, how do you have so much confidence? <laughs> That's... I wouldn't say I've got confidence it's more 
I don't give a yeah. Um, <laughs> there's a difference. Yeah, there's a difference. I'm not. There's a difference between both vlogs and Marcus as well, and so Marcus is not that confident. He's quite quiet, but Bo and Bo vlogs is like what you see on Instagram and just like that, I don't give a fuck like you can say what you want to say I'm going to say what I'm going to say and if you like it you like it and if you don't well it's not my problem um, so yeah I just learned sort of to accept that people are going to hate you whatever you do anyway whether it's something good whether it's bad people are always going to judge so if you, as long as you've got that attitude like, I don't give a fuck what anyone thinks I'll wear what I want to wear say what I want to say do what I want to do you can hate if you want to, but you'd be wasting your time. Jeez. <laughs> so, yeah. Big up, Nikki. Scotty Bells. Says, what country, what country would you like to travel with me? The one and only Scotty Bills. Cool. <laughs> oh. I'd say only purely based on because of how hard we mashed the city, I'd say America and I'd say obviously not now. Um, but yeah, like somewhere like New York. You just imagine us just like mashing through New York and then imagine the eats we could get, bro. Imagine the food we could get. Yeah, so <laughs> get this video to 10,000 likes and me and Scotty Bills will go to New York and mash that shit. <laughs> Never gonna happen. <laughs> Big up Scotty Bills. Who we got? B underscore 86. Besides Cass and bikes, what else do you really love? Wow. Um, obviously, mom, sister, Mexican food, burgers. Fuck. <laughs> um, music and tattoos. Oh, and the gym. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. Bit boring on that. <laughs> Big up, Sharby. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pinda BMX. No question, my dude. You're the realest motherfucker up in the bitch. Just know that. Kill him. Jeez, car. Come on, my guy. Pinda BMX. Go follow this G, yo. Collective bikes. Underrated, underappreciated, and yeah. Watch this space. This guy is going to go fire, yo. Big up my G Pinda. Who else we got? Who else we got? Ants Visuals underscore. What about yourself motivates you to be a better version of yourself? Easy, my past. 100% my past. Um... I've made some silly mistakes and dumb decisions and yeah, my past just motivates me and yeah, I suppose there's pe uh, people in my family as well, I see how they act and how they are and that motivates me to be nothing like them. So yeah, big up Ant's visuals, go check his work yo, his pictures are Fire, yo. <laughs> Who else then? Next question. Nikki again. What's your biggest dream and aspiration? You are coming in with the questions. Um, that's a tough one, yeah. I guess just to be comfortable, just to be comfortable in life, um, just financially stable, more, like a lot, lot more fun. Like, I don't want to be like dumb rich, I just want to be just like comfortable, like 
you know them ones where you can just walk into a shop and pick something up and buy it without having to look at the at the price that's that yeah um yeah without sounding corny and deep i just want to be like i said i just want to be comfortable i just want to stay healthy and just be happy anything else is just a bonus who's next let's go to send it be rad my guy how long you down London for next? Let's make a movie. <laughs> My guy, I'll be back in the city end of September. And if you let me know how long you need me in the city for, for us to make a movie, we'll make a motherfucking movie, yo. Jeez, come on, send it, be rad My G. Come on. Baza on a Mazza. Baza on a Mazza. Where would you be without bike life? I wouldn't be here, bro. I would definitely, 100%. I would have... Bike, bike life saved me from a very, very dark place. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be making this video. I would be... Yeah. But yeah bike life is here so i'm here so it's all good baby baby brg scotty bill no it's done scotty bills done scotty bills boss david wallace shoots asks shooting bangers on air <laughs> I wish I was. Um, I can't remember if I told you, I went out, you know, the a couple of months ago when we had the pink moon thing? Uh, I went out to get some pictures of that. Um, put my camera in my bag, made the rookie mistake of putting, putting a Red Bull in there as well. And yeah, don't know what happened because I normally do it all the time. And basically the can exploded in the bag, went all in my camera and effed it basically so david wallace shoots shooting bangers or nah unfortunately nah but get at me and i'll come to the city and we'll get those bangers g come on come on i think that is got one no i've got any left we've got one left and it is who do you think it is who do you think it is Bosh. Jake 100 says, when are you going to learn the swerve? I'm waiting to cut some traffic up with you. <laughs> I'll tell you what, the swerve is coming sooner than you think, yo. Sooner than you think. So I'm going to hold you to this and we're going to mash that shiz up. So I'll say within, by the end of the year, Jake, by the end of the year, I'm going to be mashing them swerves hard. And if not, like I said before, I'll come to the city. I'll buy you Nando's. I'll buy you whatever you want. If I'm not swerving by the end of the year. Yep. Screen spuds on that. Come on. So, yeah. That is all the questions. Hope you enjoyed this kind of video. A um, bit different to normal, and I see a few people doing it, so I thought I'd give it a go. If you want to do another one, sort of more maybe personal questions, not so bike life related, let me know and we'll get on that. Besides that, hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, comment. You know what it is. Fresh, come on. Cheers. <laughs>